Welcome to the Parksville showroom. My name is Natalie and I am the showroom supervisor here. Today we are going to talk about the wonderful world of toilets. Shopping for a toilet can, believe it or not, actually be a little bit overwhelming. So I'm going to give you a few tips to help you decide and what to look for when you are shopping for a toilet. So here today I am going to discuss uh, the difference between one piece and a two piece toilet. So here you have a tank that is separate from the bowl. That is considered a two piece toilet. When you are shopping for a one-piece toilet, you are going to look for a seamless tank to bowl join, which uh, is beneficial so no fluids can get in between there. It's easy to clean. If you prefer a one-piece toilet, so you have that seamless tank to bowl join, you can expect to pay a little bit more money. If you would prefer to save those few extra bucks and just stick with the two-piece toilet, but you still are concerned about fluids getting up in there, look for the toilets that have a little bit of a raised back on the bowl. So this creates just that extra little bit of space so if fluids do happen to get up on there, that it's going to be trapped here and not necessarily make it through the tank to bowl join. The next feature you are going to consider is whether you would like skirted or non-skirted. So I have three Toto toilets. The first one is skirted, but what Toto likes to do is they leave a partial opening here underneath, which gives great access to your toilet seat bolts. So this is considered skirted, but it still has a little bit of a shelf there. The next Toto toilet is considered a non-skirted toilet. So this will be more traditionally what you're used to uh, growing up in your homes without the modern skirted version, where you can see the trap under here. So it's all open, full access to the toilet seat bolts, as well as easy installation. It makes for a little bit lighter of an installation on the plumbers, and you always have access to the bolts you just have that extra cleaning in there to do. This Toto toilet here is completely skirted, meaning full seamless porcelain body all the way down. These skirted bowls will cost you again a little bit more money, but I tell you, for the investment you're gonna make, it'll save you in cleaning and it's just so pretty, it really is. What Toto does on this toilet, they actually have an access panel. So again, you have always the access to the toilet seat bolts if you need to retighten or change the seat. The next feature to consider when purchasing a toilet is whether you would prefer dual flush or single flush. In front of me I have three toilets. This particular one is by Duravit and it features a three and a six liter button. Beside me here is the DXV Linden toilet and the interesting thing about this dual flush toilet is it features a 4.8 liter large flush and a 3 liter small flush. When you purchase a single flush toilet, you will be purchasing a 4.8 liter flush. So this one will be activated by one single lever on, either on the front of the toilet or on the side of the toilet. And if you haven't changed your toilet for years and years and years and years, you may be flushing 13 or more liters of water. Now that we have discussed one piece versus two piece, skirted versus non-skirted, and single flush versus dual flush, drop your comments below and let me know which configuration you prefer.